Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Nostalgia. Last time we met up with Gilbert, and he wanted to show us something in the sewers in London. He won't really tell us why we need to go to the sewers or what's going on down there, but we need to go anyway, because it's connected to us. So, um, we can finally fill out the map in these sewers. It's about frickin' time, but there's really nothing else down there. There's no new monsters or anything else like that. There is one treasure, so, um, I'm gonna go grab that treasure, and I'm gonna meet you kind of in the middle of those sewers down there, by, probably by the save point. Well, here I am, and we all know that no JRPG is complete without at least one trip to the sewers, or in this case, three trips to the sewers. Thankfully, however, this will be our last trip to the sewers. So, let's see, we want to go down this way. Um, now, over to the left, there is a treasure that I am going to want to get to, but over here, there's a ladder, which is going to be our goal. So, I'm going to meet you back at that ladder right there um, once I go over here and get the treasure and, uh, you know, clean out the map and all that stuff. So, before I forget and before we move on with the plot, let's uh, see what everybody has to say about this recent turn of events now that we're inside the sewers. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, we already saw the ladder, so, yeah. And you're not gonna tell- Nobody tells us anything in these games! That's- Everybody else knows so much more than the heroes, but nobody ever tells us anything. It's a bunch of crap. Oh, well, we'll have to take that over to the guy over in, uh, Japan. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back at the ladder. Okay, well, made it up the ladder, cleared off that map. Well, what's going on in here? It's another creepy facility. Is that tablets inside those, uh, jars? Oh, it's yet another museum. Oh, it's a secret museum beneath the regular museum, which I guess is beneath the secret Royal Exploration Agency as well. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what's going on here? Oh, hey, Lost Technologies. Oh. Okay. So, what are we doing tonight, Brain? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Trying to take over the world! Mm, something like that. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, hopefully the Cabal won't get into here. Or hopefully, you know, Commander Fogg isn't evil as well. Uh, yeah. It's like one of those Russian dolls where it's like, you know, everything is kind of inside of each other. Oh, well, hopefully. Hmm. Uh, such as what? Like, those tablets sitting right in front of your faces? These things? Yeah. Those could be rather interesting, rather valuable, don't you think so? Um, yeah. But we have a tablet. We didn't turn it in. There's five there in the little cases. Well, isn't that unusual? Huh. Yeah. But there's six. Yeah, no kidding. The one that we have, plus these five here. You knew what? Oh, that's right. Yeah, there was a tablet at the Siberian base. I guess they somehow rescued it? Were they, like, digging in the snow or something? Oh, who's there? Who's saying this? Oh, surely. Yeah, what are you doing here? Hmm. Because as we all know, the technology of ancient civilizations is much more powerful than the technology of modern civilizations. Of course. Of course. Asgard. That crappy-ass golem in Wild Arms 5? Ugh, that thing sucked. That thing sucked more than the frickin' airplane in this, uh, game here. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Yeah, we- didn't we kill you in the volcano somewhere? Yeah, no kidding! Oh. Okay. Yikes! It's boss time against Kakao himself, yet again. He has 4,000 HP, only 18 attack power, though. Let's increase his wait time. Hopefully that will work against him. Please? No, of course not. Uh, you know what, actually? Well, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, go ahead and use, well, no. We're gonna use Holy Bell. J 
just because we got it last time, and I kind of want to show it off. Um, I'll probably, like, never use it again, but this is a decent battle to show it off in, because it actually deals some pretty nice damage. And just to get some more damage in, we'll use a Demon's Gate. He doesn't have any elemental weaknesses, and his magical defense power is only 30, whereas his physical defense power is 18, so you can deal relatively decent damage against him with uh, with our attacks. But I'm going to use a Supernova as well without using Hyper Attack right yet, and you'll see why probably really soon, actually. <laughs> I just want to get as much damage against him as humanly possible right now. Yeah, because he's going to use this and activate his complete defense, because he's a complete dickhead. So now we can't actually deal any damage to him. Um, it sucks, so we have to spend some turns buffing and things like that, which is just awful. Uh, let's see if we can't steal from him. We haven't stolen in quite some time. Stealing gets much better in the post game, but of course, as usual, there's nothing to steal. It's not that we can't steal anything, there's literally nothing to steal. It's such crap. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and give Eddie an extra turn so he can do his dual buffing, just in case his ogre defense, uh, you know, gets off sometime soon. I guess I could use a spree break on him. Hopefully we can get the, uh, agility debuff going on him. Would that work at all? Uh, probably not. Um, at least we could speed up Eddie. That might help. And then use our hyper attacks. So then whenever it comes around to actually killing this guy, we can really just do him in no problem at all. By the way, if you try to do a third hyper attack, it'll only raise your attack power by like one or two. So it's totally not worth it. Just do the two hyper attacks and you'll be fine. There we go. And then after that, you can't just, like, you, you just can't raise your attack power anymore. It will just say, you know, it had no effect. So, two is the uh, maximum that I ever want to go to. There we go. Some nice damage there. Um, Melody, just attack. Again, if you need somebody to heal, have Melody heal. But I think that this guy's down for the count at this point. Use a bullet drive against him. And he only had 4,000. I've dealt about 2,000 to him before he activated his complete defense. And hopefully this bullet drive should deal the, less the, yeah, the rest of the damage to him. There we go. Easy enough. Don't have to worry about healing or anything like that. So, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I saw a save point right next to where we're at. Whoa, I got an A rank too. Sweet! His ex, like, Emperor Terra? Is that who you're talking about? Oh. Really? Of gods and men. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is what I've been saying the entire game. If we just stayed at home, sat on our asses, ate bonbons, and watched Married with Children, there'd be no issues at all in this game. No one would be able to take the tablets, no one would be able to do anything, and Fiona would live a happy life. Yeah, she wouldn't know her past, but she'd be happy because she'd be with Eddie. Like, if we just didn't do anything, this game would be fine. There'd be nothing going on. Uh, but of course, we can't do that. <laughs> we have to go and tinker and meddle and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So they could, you know, kill two birds with one stone if they're able to gather them all. Okay, yeah, we gotta get going. And this is a one-time only dungeon. We don't have to worry about map completion or anything else like that. Uh, but the, um, the uh, enemies here are uh, one-time only enemies as well. So once you leave this place and you don't encounter those enemies, uh, you will be screwed. So make sure that we uh, see them all. These float cannons have no weaknesses. Let's use, uh, we'll use Meteor Shot against them. They have, let's see, 485 HP. A lot of the guys in here are mechanical, so if you want to equip that one gadget that allows you to deal more damage to mechanical monsters, that would be a really good idea. In fact, I may do it off screen for um, Eddie and Pad, but eh, actually, yeah, I am going to do it off screen. After this battle, I'm going to do that off screen, just equip that one gadget that uh, that increases the damage of those monsters, just to make it a little bit faster. Okay, I got that taken care of, and uh, grab this treasure. There's some really nice treasure in here as well. I'll equip it probably all at the same time. I got a metal jacket there. Uh, that's for Pad. All the jackets are for Pad. And here we have the killer arms. Ooh, get first attack. Nice! 
Uh, they have, let's see, 470 HP and no weaknesses either. I'm just trying to check these guys off my list to make sure that I get them all, because I do want 100% monster completion. Since I'm going for, like, you know, the 100% map completion and everything else, I might as well go for all the completion to get the, um, the ultimate item that you get for completing your adventurous journal 100% that I'm not going to spoil right now. <laughs> I almost spoiled it, but no, not going to do that today. Let's see, hit this one. Huh. Oh, wow. Hey. Awesome. So, let's see. Grab this treasure. Ooh, an Aqua Shot. That'll come in really handy the next uh, boss battle that we have coming up, because our next boss is weak to water. Oh, yikes. Yeah, you want to hit that left-hand switch first, then hit the right-hand switch, because it will undo kind of the uh, damage that that left-hand switch dealt, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. Go over here. And we get some nice new treasure as well. Ooh, the white tiger blade. That's really nice for Eddie as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Shouldn't have hit that one. What you actually want to hit over here is the bottom right switch. Yeah, some of these switches are like red herrings. Just designed to just piss you off, pretty much. Look at the saint's robe there. And this should be the switch that I want. Sweet! It is. Awesome. And do you have anything useful that you can do? Oh. Uh, we could take a look, but everything that you sell, we already have, so... Yeah, I don't need any of your crap. But I do want to go ahead and equip that stuff that I just got. Let's see, we got a sword for him. Ooh, nice! We got a gun for you. And I also believe that we got some uh, armor for you as well. There we go, got the metal jacket. And for you, what did we get for you? Was it a cloak? What was it? It was a saint's robe. Um... Oh, we got a wand for you, I think. No. Okay, so so we got a robe for you. <laughs> Hopefully for you. No, it must have all been for Fiona. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, strong against holy. Nice! And for you... Huh. I thought we got, like, a magical wand. Huh. Maybe... Maybe not? Maybe not yet? Oh, yeah. Not yet. I'm looking at something else entirely. Anyway, let's head on in here. Oh no, it's Carmine! Holy crap! Yikes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we already took care of Kakyo. I don't think that he's gonna be bothering us anymore, but what's Commander Fogg doing here? Like, is he canoodling with the enemy? Yeah, totally. Yikes! Commander Fogg doesn't seem like he's uh, upset or scared or anything about this. But uh, let's see, we can use a bullet drive against him. He has 4,500 HP, 18 defense power, 75 magic defense power, but he's weak to water! So yeah, even unbuffed, it did over 1,000 damage. So that's really nice. Uh, we'll get Eddie attacking twice in a row, then I want to pass all the turns over to Pad. Uh, so he can deal more damage. Uh, let's see how much how much damage I can actually do with uh, a water attack as compared to a um, oh, 227. Not half bad. Once I get her buffed up, we'll see if she does any better with her um, regular physical hit. It's really unfortunate the way that this game gimped Melody. It's really a travesty. It really is just terrible. Yikes! Ooh, wow, that did a shit ton of damage to Pad. Holy crap! Um, I'm surprised that he countered that. I'm surprised that that counted as a physical attack, because normally he can only counter physical hits. That, to me, didn't seem physical. That seemed magical to me, but, eh, whatever. I'm not really complaining. Oh, yeah, not a lot of damage there. I think that Pad dealt more damage, uh, unbuffed. What? Whoa! Look at how much damage she did just with a regular physical attack! Holy crap! Um... Oh, you know what? It's because her attack is also, um... Let's actually just make it be his turn. I think that her attack, or her weapon, is also water-based as well. So that's probably why. Let's see, use that. I just noticed this! I, I, did, I never noticed this before, but all of their weapons change whenever you equip them with something new, because this gun is now blue! Huh! 
Star Ocean 5 didn't even do that. Star Ocean 5 didn't do a lot of crap. Ugh. This game did a lot of stuff better than Star Ocean 5 did, shockingly enough. For a game on the DS that was low budget that's not even part of a series, it did party chat correctly, it did quests correctly, it did equipping weapons correctly, I mean, it did so many things correctly. Oh, hey, it's Emperor Terra! Oh, we finally meet him! What's up with his eyeball? Hmm, he does look rather familiar, but I can't really place him. Oh. Yeah, why are you here? Well, it's pretty obvious why he's here. But why are you calling Commander Fogg a wolf in sheep's clothing? Um, that's... Actually, that's very true, but the difference is the Ancient Father's Cabal wants to use the ancient uh, technology to destroy the world, whereas the Royal Exploration Agency wants to use the ancient technology to save the world or promote mankind or something? I don't know. Huh. Oh. Oh, wait. You awoken the evil spirits? Were you trapped in Pandora's box, too? Um, I believe that was Melody who opened up the box, unless this is something that happened in the past or something? I don't know what they're talking about here. Yeah, totally. Oh, okay, so, okay, so Emperor Terra did open Pandora's box. I'm assuming the box in the Acropolis that let out the Ancient Father's Cabal and various other people. Um, but apparently, it also let out Fiona. I guess she was the hope, the light of hope, the ray of hope inside of uh, Pandora's box as well. So then, what was that box that Melody opened last time? Did he open it up and then he, like, closed Pandora's box again? Huh. Yikes! Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we should get on out of here. Okay, well, let's see what our party has to say about all this. Yeah, we gotta get on out of here! Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be fine. And, uh, let's see. In order to get on out of here, if I try to move, we're gonna get into yet another battle. The Robot Tour and the Karma Notebooks. Huh. Let's actually use a Demon's Gate against these guys. The uh, Robotors have 510 HP, and they would do holy. The Karma Notebooks have 500 HP, um, and they don't have any kind of elemental weaknesses. So, yeah, just use your best skills against these guys, and you will be fine. So we have, let's see, two more enemies in here that we haven't yet met up with. The Dummy Chest and the Cabal Combatant. So I do want to make sure that I meet up with those guys before I leave here. And if I have to, um, you know, fool around off screen to meet up with them, then that's just what I'm going to have to do. So here you actually want to hit the left hand switch, not the right hand switch. And then uh, continue on our way through here. Let's see, let's go in here, hit this switch. Come on, there we go. Uh, yikes. Well, that's no good. Uh, let's see. Go in here, get some treasure. Oh, an ancient paper. We'll have to get that appraised. And that raised the thing that the other switch lowered. And then over here, hey, we get that magical wand that I thought that we got last time, but apparently not. Okay, so let's hit this one. There we go. Looks like we just have one more switch to hit, and then we can get on out of here. That's nice. Nice and in order. Or not. Yeah. So now we have, after hitting that switch, you have to go all the way back down to the beginning and then hit that rightmost switch that we could or that we didn't or couldn't hit before. If you tried to hit it before, it would be like stuck or jammed and it wouldn't let you actually hit it. Okay, here we have the uh, Cabal Combatants. We've seen these guys multiple times. They have 510 HP and no weaknesses. I still need to meet with that dummy chest enemy though and I'll probably do it off-screen and then just kind of splice it in somewhere. So, take care of these guys the best way you know how. Easy enough, you know, just use sonic waves, meteor strikes, whatever the hell you want to use, it really doesn't matter. There we go. Hey! 
Hey! Okay, so if I don't meet up with that guy, I'll do it off screen. Hey, awesome! So we got the dummy chests right here. Uh, let's see, what does he use bullet drive on them? They have 480 HP. Hopefully, I can just kill him with one bullet drive since I've been putting so many points into it. Because Pat always goes first, and it's basically just a screen clearer. It's so nice to be able to use that, clear off randoms, use an item, restore his MP, and just keep on trucking along. It's it, it's amazing. Uh, yikes! Um, we've kicked your ass multiple times. Oh, wait, yeah, it's Magi's uh, power. Oh, hey. Oh, why is that? Oh. Um, oh. Okay. So, every time that she uses her power, does her body, like, slowly degrade and slowly die? Wait, how are we able to destroy the tablets? Is that even possible? Yeah, no kidding, that entire base just exploded and it didn't destroy the tablet. How the hell are we supposed to destroy it? Oh, okay, so we have to gather them all, put them together in a nice, neat, organized package, then destroy them. And, of course, only Fiona can do it. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's the Tomb Chapel in America. And where is that? Yeah, you probably would slow us down. I guess she's sacrificing herself down there. I mean, Emperor Terra is still there, unless she's down there to save, uh, Gilbert. Oh! Hey, old man. You weren't aware of what was going on down there? Uh, yeah, but I'm sure he'll be fine. He's only trapped underground with the most evil person on the face of the planet. He'll be great. He'll be perfectly fine. Oh, he already knew about this? Well, what's that? Oh, okay, huh. In the mountains west of New York. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. He hasn't really been all that much useful to us. But we'll be heading off to the uh, Tomb Chapel next time on Let's Play Nostalgia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.